This is a video of the unboxing of my sealed Adam 12 Cox police car. Showing that the package arrived safely. Expect no issues, but I just want to make sure it is everything that I paid for. We're going to open the box. Take off this. Feels very secure. It's limited to no damage whatsoever. <clears throat> Extra cardboard to stiffen it up. That's brilliant. Some nice square bubble bubble wrap in there. That's got to be the best looking box I've ever owned, without a doubt. Now there's supposed to be fuel in here also. There she is, okay. what all this is. Couldn't hurt. Alright, so the box had some dings in it that were very visible in the auction, or the, excuse me, the listing. And this is one of them. There's also a little bit of a, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, this is flat, got a little damage. This is gonna probably be the side that I open because of the fact that this is a little messed up. This side would be the easier one to open, but it's in so much better shape than this side. So by opening this and reducing the value, and this one might be a little bit easier. I want to pick the side that's already slightly damaged. No good color. Pretty darn square box. Definitely the best graphic box. You can see the 2785. Original price sticker on it. Not sure if the never saw the bottom in the listing you can hear things moving around in the box a little bit of a crease here a little ding there that that I saw in the listing 
Most of this is to be expected. I hear parts rolling around. But this is why I got it, because I've never owned one. Boy, that, look how easy that's going to be to open. I don't want to open that side, though. See, this one's tighter. That is such a shame. Dude, what do I do? All right. Don't really want to keep dragging that on the... Take a look at the go go juice. <clears throat> Boy, it's full too. Jeez, that's pretty rare. the exact one. Handwritten 249. The bottle's in pretty good can. The can's in pretty good condition. Showing some age, but that's remarkable. I didn't buy it for that though. <coughs> find out where these glue lines are. Are they up and down? They are up and down. Oop. Flipping around some. tears. First strip is gone. Oh man, I think there's three. There's only two. Alright. Alright. There goes 
the value. Oh! This is the sticker that usually sits on the inside of the insert. Oh boy, I don't like the look of that already. So the reason why I bought this was to see what was in an original seal. I've been collecting them for so long. I've had many with the boxes, but first one sealed. I was never sure if any of the ones I had in the boxes were actually complete. I had one that I swear was complete, but you just never know. A lot of debris on the inside of that sticker. It's really weird. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens here. do was see exactly how these were packed. That is definitely a new car. So we're going to remove the upper insert. What is that? Uh, it's kind of coming apart. Interesting that they have these cutouts. I always thought these cutouts were pop to help. Okay. Definitely would have been worth more seal. Because <laughs> you would have never seen that. So what are we looking at? area in the boxes cardboard is actually lifting there's where the sticker was and her bumper looks a little loose Actually, never seen one like this in its spot. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I got heavy rusting on the warm gear. Heavy rusting. This was not stored climate control. This piece was never in any of the boxes I ever had because it obviously gets ripped. They actually clipped the car onto it nice and tight. No doubt the car's new. There's no doubt. There we go. That's funny. A little bit of crazing there. Brand new out of the box. Well, 47 years old. Yeah, whole side's crazed. It's interesting. It's crazing there, popular area of crazing. There's some more this time. Yeah, crazing. It's funny, there's a mark on that.
Dust and dirt obviously got into the box. Obviously with some moisture, the windows look a little, uh, I guess, I don't know, is the term moldy? Really don't want to touch that too much. Put the finger shit scratches in it. The bumper appears to be cockeyed. But it is the typical hot glue that Cox put on. Could have been heated up from storage and maybe settled out a bit, but it's sturdy now. You see there's a little separation. Front clips are tight. It's got some cardboard rub on it. <sighs> Pretty freaking nice though. You know, 12 vinyls are perfect. They didn't move from any of the heat, if there was. Solid, solid body, all original appears anyway so what we're going to do is move this <clears throat> so now we're going to pull the chassis again at the separation this is where that orange sticker would have went right there like that. Let me flip this down. Wow, <laughs> right out of the box, it's got a broken, uh, I forget what this piece is called. So you can see you see the rust on the worm gear. And the lighting's probably bad. Getting shadows. You can see that the I forget what this damn thing's called. It's cracked. And if we go to turn it. It won't turn. Hmm. Just enough moisture. Oh, I just realized what the plastic was. Fuel line disintegrated. That's what all those plastic parts. You can see it in the corner of the box. Fuel line completely disintegrated, which is typical. The age. And that's sitting in the box brand new. So we got... Perfect. This tire's hitting the tire's perfect. These probably won't spin. Click off the motor. Still won't spin. There we go, I think. Is that? Oh, because this is rusted to the, the drive shaft. So tires won't spin. Hubcaps. A little golden, which is typical. That one's a little bit more chrome. That one's chrome. It's got a scratch on it. That 
one's got a nick in it. That one's gold. Looks like there's some a little bit of moisture residue. Mold. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. You can tell the car's all spotty from moisture and dust. But that is a solid brand new chassis. Motor's got some issues, but it's seized, so. Not as nice as I expected it to be. So let's see what's in the box. Wow, wow, this is impressive. And I've never had, held a set of directions this solid in my life. 40 years of collecting. A little, a little more yellow on the outside than it is on the inside. There's not a crease. It's the warranty card. Little, little yellow in the corners. Piece of the fuel tank, or a fuel hose. <clears throat> That's brilliant. It's funny. It actually had better cars than the condition of that one's in. There's the remnants of the fuel line. The please buy more brochure. Look at all the planes and cars that I have. <laughs> <coughs> That's a pretty darn good shape. And then there's the decal sheet. detail parts it's in pretty good condition there is a that is not my fingerprint there was a similar one on the instruction sheet when I was walking it back I noticed Of course, I dropped the warranty card. Probably ding in the corner. All right, so, so far, it looks like I've had many complete cars, because there's not much left in here but the parts bag. Oh, man. So in the parts bag, there's the headlight tree. All the headlights are off of it. There's the two cans. There's the siren. There's a loose headlight. What do we got here? The three reds are there. The three ambers. There's the antenna just flopping around. They put the wrenches in the same bag. <laughs> Would you put the wrenches in? Break all these plastic parts. There's the Cox drive. Side marker lights. Red and amber. License plate stickers. Ugh. Try to get to the decals without breaking anything. 
it appears that the decals are stuck between the two wrenches. Probably the safest spot for them. Oh yeah, and they, they're showing age. Oh, look at the wrench. Wrench is spotted. Well, now I know that if I ever buy another one sealed, I don't have to open it. Because all I did was diminish the value. These things are not going to be perfect. Being in stored in the boxes for 47 years. I could have sworn I've had others, though, in the past where the wrenches were separate, separately bagged. I think I've even had a couple where the Cox cams were separately bagged also. This is really weird that they just threw everything in the bag like this. Nothing really looks damaged. It is sealed still, so we're going to keep that sealed. All right. <clears throat> Nothing else in the box. Except for the pieces of the fuel line. Well, that was uneventful. No surprises. Nothing new. Basically just diminished the value of the car. But it was worth it. Now I know. I know what a complete unit is sealed. And it's still worthy. Probably clean her up a little bit. See what she looks like clean. Probably take the motor out. Replace the worm gear. Gonna have to replace this handle also. That's a shame. Fuel tank is just beautiful. Definitely not a run car. I honestly feel like it's a sealed unit. Did open the right correct side. Yeah. All right, it is what it is. I expected. Uh, well, I don't know what I expected. I kind of expected pure perfection when I opened this box, but it just dawned on me now. Forty-seven years old. Yeah box that isn't sealed well with wrap moisture temperature control issues it's kind of expecting this to be completely clean I'll tell you what I mean the tires alone tires and wheels just sold on eBay brand new for over $80. The motors sell for close to 50 when they're new. Maybe a little bit more. Fuel tanks new. $20 easily. Bodies sell for over $60. And I know everything in there is worth money. So I didn't lose. I just diminished the value. It's worthy of good feedback. And I'll enjoy cleaning this up, making that motor spin again. Not sure what my plans are with it other than that. Afraid to touch the body because I don't want any of that white paint chipping off because it's all crazed. And I'll have to adjust the bumper. But it's a complete car. I now know what came in the box. I wasn't far off, and apparently, other ones I've owned had extra stuff in them. So, 
There you have it.